Human Utopia has been a phenomenal experience uh, as a as a practitioner, as a teacher, as a human being really. The school uh, is fully engaged with it and I'm watching individual students go on an amazing journey. So I look at different types of kids, kids who are you know, quiet and introverted, other kids who are living in challenging circumstances, go from where they were in September to light years ahead is, is where we are now. I'm watching people change in aspirations, I'm watching young people grow in a in a very special way. It's a program that's difficult to explain, um, but it's a program that changes the lives of young people in a in a really wonderful way. Parents who we've got involved are saying, you know, they're seeing life changes in their young people, and they're saying that their relationships with their own children, their relationships with their uh, siblings, are all better. One of the difficulties with Utopia is this challenge between uh, academic achievement and what people refer to as soft targets, so the social skills, um, personal awareness. It's not, I, I don't see it as a two divergent sort of aims. The work of Utopia completely underpins uh, academic achievement. So what you're trying to do is get young people to be the best that they can be. It's about uh, personal pride, it's about being ambitious, it's about conducting yourself in the right way and taking responsibility, not just for you, but for the people around you. So, in, in some instances it does mean students missing lessons, but the bigger picture is those students are, are taking much more ownership about themselves and that should then go back in and, and increase uh, the work the work ethic uh, and ultimately examination results and I believe the work that's going on in school now will ultimately prove that uh, and that will be reflected in an examination uh, set of results and also in developing good young people which is, is, is what we're here for.